We've been talking about hunting for the last few nights. Let's talk for a moment about poaching. Catching a poacher it isn't easy, especially at night. But a Wisconsin company is helping with the opposite of nature. They're helping with robots. NBC 26's Josh Visti and Marissa DeCandido show us in this week's Great Outdoor Story. It looks like a live deer, and it acts like a live deer, but it's not a live deer. This one's going to turn that deer head. These are robotic taxidermy decoys made by Brian Wolslagle. This spot here I don't like. The rest of it doesn't look too bad. He started Custom Robotic Wildlife in Mosany over 20 years ago. A lot of this is trial and error. A police officer asked him to make a decoy to catch poachers. Poachers, you know, if it's not moving, then they're going to not shoot. You know, the more movement, the more lifelike we can make it, the more luring it is to them. But it's not just deer. From turkey to moose, the decoys are shipped across the U.S. and Canada. I think any ethical hunter would approve of what we do. And with each new project, they get more advanced in a way. We had an officer, a federal officer, that asked if we could make one that would lift his tail and poop. So we're working on that right now. My kids love it because they go and buy big bags of M&Ms and they get to eat all the colors except for the brown ones. <laughs> It's a unique career choice, especially for someone who once studied to become a firefighter and EMT. So yeah, over the years we've uh, done all kinds of different stuff. But when you find your passion, you just have to follow it. And I think that's the key to life. I mean, if you go to work and enjoy doing what you're doing, it's, it's going to be a great job. In Mosany with photojournalist Josh Visti, I'm Marissa DeCandido for NBC26. Brian also makes decoys for hunters. For more information, go to our website, NBC26.com.